What are you doing? Out, out, and out. Bad bear. You're listening to a woman scold a black bear, which, try as she might, does not appear to be working. Early Saturday morning in Southern California, this lady's ring camera first spotted the bear lingering in front of her house. When I came out at dawn, I saw that the um, cross space window had been torn off. And I thought, oh no, <laughs> that bear's in there. Yeah, the bear made itself comfortable in the unfinished space beneath their first floor, only for the owner to eventually confirm the presence of this giant furry squatter. What I did is go into my basement with the flashlight and its eyes shone right at me. Our homeowner tried making a commotion to try to scare the bear out of there. I got pots and pans and banged it and I had my leaf blower. I took it down there and turned it on, but didn't budge. And because of the creature's proximity to the stairs, which lead, well, upstairs, the owner relocated some of her foodstuffs to prevent this freeloader from further mooching off her property. I move food that I have in the pantry out because I know they have a really strong sense of smell. Um, so hopefully that helps and hopefully it doesn't decide to come up the stairs. So what happened next? Did the bear start paying rent, chip in on the household chores and invite its spouse over to dance? No, animal control told her to toss some mothballs down there. And apparently that did the trick. Keep moving. Animal control also didn't know whether the bear was sick or hurt or why the bear chose to seek refuge in this basement. But with the creature finally long gone, our homeowner here is still trying to come to terms with why a black bear chose to take comfort inside of her home. I don't know what woke this one up and decided to come over here. I've heard of it happening before, but I just thought, why me?